Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. Um, I woke up early this morning, so I decided to make a little video. Um, now, this video is going to be a little different than the ones I usually make. I'm not going to be discussing anything spiritual today. I just wanted to show you guys the garden my grandparents have in their front yard. Now, the reason I'm putting this on a spiritual channel is because um, my grandpa... He's a very active person. He's always walking, jogging, bike riding. He's always out and about. And when he's doing that, he always finds little trinkets on the ground and uh, in the road. And what he'll do is he'll collect these and put them in his garden. And it's amazing the amount of stuff he's collected over the years. And I wanted to show you guys that because to me, it looks like art, really. So I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, so here's what we got to start. So we got the little uh, 4th of July pinwheels. He's got a couple of those. Um, we have a big rock garden. There's all kinds of rocks. Now, these rocks, a lot of them have been here since I can remember. All right, so I believe this goes to a tire and uh, he just found this lying in the road. So he picked it up, put it in his garden. Um, I think this is an old piece to an old pinwheel that he used to have. Um, let's see. Um, these are cool little rocks. Uh, oh, oh, I think we found a gem. Oh, yeah. A piece to an old mermaid statue that he found. There's the fin. That's cool. Uh, some of this stuff actually might be buried under all this little gravel here. This is an old Fusiji ball. You guys remember Fusiji? Where it looked so cool in the commercials and then when you actually got it, you're like, what the? Um, these are little plastic coins and let's see. It's got a little ship on it. He's got actually more than one. Little marbles you can see. Uh, oh yeah, more coins. More coins just like that. Uh, this is an old St. Patrick's Day coin. Let's see, it's peeling. Um, old jewelry that he's found. You guys can see that. This looks like an old salt shaker lid. Little fake gemstones, if you can see. Uh, yep, pieces of old jewelry. This little piece of uh, fake metal. Uh, oh, a nice blue bead. And this little golden little bush here. It's pretty cool. Um, I remember one of these rocks I found when I was hiking and I put it in here. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, it was this one. So then we have, yep, my pups. He loves working, uh, I mean, feeding the squirrels. My pupa loves feeding the squirrels. I call him the Squirrel King because he always puts nuts on the windowsill and they'll like clamor it like they're his subjects. Um, oh, we have a little mooning gnome. Ain't that fun? <laughs> uh, nice little full moon up tonight. Um, oh, this is an old ghost light. Um, we still had the lights, but one of the ghosts fell off and instead of throwing it away, he decided to pop it in his garden. Pretty creative, if you ask me. Um, these logs have been here since I can remember. If you look at this one, you can see how rotted it is on the inside. So it's definitely been here a while. Over on this side, there isn't really much. So let me go over here. Oh, oh yes. The old hand imprints that my uh, sister and I made. There's a couple more. Uh, one for me, one for my sister, and one for my little cousin. So we got all those. There isn't really much over here. Um, still uh, a nice rock garden. My grandpa recently got this to add to his collection. One of those little picnic tables for squirrels to sit on. So freaking cute. Um, a little squirrel statue because everybody knows him as the Squirrel King. So. Gotta add that to his little squirrel kingdom. Um, let's see. Oh yes, yeah, so they've had this for a long time. Um, oh yeah, this goose statue. 
You can definitely tell how old it is because of the paint job has worn off on it. Another pinwheel. Um, this is an old cherry tree that apparently my grandparents got from the south. We have some family members down south. They brought it over here long ago and it grew, but it doesn't produce cherries. That's the thing. It's too cold for it to produce cherries. Um, not the right conditions in Michigan, so it has never produced cherries here. But it's still cool. It's always been a big part of uh, my grandparents' garden. And uh, we got some bushes here. Um, and as you can see on the ground, there are peanut shells littering the entire yard. Good thing they're biodegradable. Um, but uh, yeah, they're all over. My grandpa usually puts them on the little windowsill here and they'll come and take them if the Blue Jays don't steal them. So that's pretty much it um, for my grandparents' little garden. They don't really have much in way, uh, in way of a garden. Uh, they have some plants grow here every year. And of course you got the little hanging planter that they usually put plants on. They may pu uh, put a few potted plants here, but um, essentially that's that's about it. Um, but I just thought I'd show you guys because it is really cool, uh, all the things that my grandpa has managed to collect and put in this little corner here. Let's see, take a look one more time. Um, I don't know what this is. Metal piece. Um, let me see if I can sift through some of the stuff. I think that's pretty much it. But, um, pretty cool. Oh, one of these little painted rocks that has been going around Michigan. Um, there is a Facebook page that, um, I forget what it was called, but it, it was a rock site and people were painting rocks and placing them all over Michigan and when people found them they could either keep them or hide them again and just post about it on Facebook. Some people might think it's silly but it was actually kind of cute. A uh, little chain, just maybe a keychain or a necklace or something. So we got all that in that nice little garden. Thought I'd show you guys. So, um, I know this is a little short video, but um, that's all I really have planned this morning. And um, I, it just came to me when I woke up and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna film a video. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to like this video. It lets the algorithm know that you actually like to watch my videos and we'll send it out to more people. I just learned that. And um, also, don't forget to check out my Twitter and my Substack where I have my own blog. Uh, Alright, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day everyone.